In this video, we're going to do an IRS portal walkthrough. So this just came out yesterday. Uh, today is April 11th, came out April 10th. I'm going to give you a walkthrough who is eligible for this, who this is best for, who this is not for, and create an account and show you the entire process from beginning to end. So we are on the site right now. Uh, if you want, you could click the link down in the description below. Make sure if you find the site otherwise that it's always irs.gov. Try not to go through any other site or third party because that's probably where you'll get scammed. First, let's see who's eligible uh, before we dive in a little deeper. You need a social security number. You need to be under a certain uh, income requirement and you cannot be claimed as a dependent. So that's kind of the thing with the whole stimulus package in general is that if you are claimed as a dependent, you won't be eligible for your own stimulus check. Next, let's go over who this is best for. If we look here, I'm going to highlight it. If you had a gross income that did not exceed 12,200 or 24,400, if you filed jointly as a married couple in 2019, or if you were not uh, otherwise required to file a federal income tax for 2019 and didn't plan to. It's also for VA and SSI recipients. It's also for a larger group of people who want to claim someone as a dependent. So if you are social security, SSDI, and railroad retirement recipients with qualifying dependents, then if you want to add your own dependent to this so that you receive $500 per dependent, then this is for you. All right, so my daughter, Kalea, just decided to join us. She'll be popping in and out. She's in my studio. So if we look here, the information that you will need to provide, social security, name, number, bank accounts, if you want to do uh, direct deposits, all this, license. We're going to go through this in a minute. Also, what to expect. So it, they do a really good job of explaining what to expect, who it's for, who it's not for. It's a very simple process. So let's just go right through. We're going to hit non-filers. Non-filers. Enter info. So once you click that, you're going to get to a free fillableforms.com website. I was a little sketched out when I first saw this, but it is legitimate. So if you, as long as you start at the IRS website and click through this, you're fine. Uh, but this is just going to let you know, you know, what, what more information you need. Don't continue if, and it has all this stuff. For example, like if you receive social security, railroad retirement, SSDI, um, then you're automatically going to get your payment. This is different. So if you want to just adjust your banking information, that's the new tool that the IRS is supposed to come out with April 17th next week. So this is something completely different. We, I don't have an account yet, so we're just going to create an account. So I'm going to do Dave at Wise. So make sure that the password is confirmed. We'll do remember me, create an account. All right, so now I go to my email account and we have this. So you just have to confirm your email account. We're gonna click this. And it's gonna bring us back to the site. So email address was verified. So now we're gonna start the process over again. So let's do get started. We're gonna sign in since I already have my uh, password saved. We're just gonna click that, sign in. All right, so now uh, this is basically, I'm sure you've done this before, you're just gonna fill out your personal information, but we'll do this together. So single or married jointly, I'm gonna click married jointly. We're gonna click in, I like to have uh, this information here. Actually, it didn't fill out all that. Uh, all right, so we're gonna click in uh, my wife as well. We're going to do our home address. This is obviously not a real address. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do this before I have to charge. I am in Myrtle Beach. All right, we're going to do this in Arizona. Just whatever, you know, we're just doing whatever. That probably won't work there. All right, foreign country name. All right, this doesn't apply. So now dependents. 
pertains to you. So dependent, I'm gonna do both of my daughters. So we got Bella, last name is Streisand, Social Security, do that. And we're gonna say this is my daughter. Um, and I don't have a pin for her, but you might in the future, then my other daughter, I don't have to put in both, but you get the point. Uh, so then we're gonna put bank account information. So if you want direct deposit, this is really important. Ideally, you wanna do direct deposit, this way the money goes right into your account. You don't have to worry about the mail system uh, being delayed, especially with this whole pandemic going on. We don't know how much this the mail is gonna be delayed. So ideally direct deposit, if not, then you'll get your check a little later. So we're gonna put in the bank information, make sure you put whether it's a checking account or bank account, any online bank account that you have, you could easily find this information. So we're gonna say checking and we're gonna put the bank account number. And so identity, identity protection pin if available, if applicable. So what this is, is um, if the IRS sends you something in the mail with a security pin. So this will be a six digit pin number. And this is a way for them to make sure that whatever information you're gonna provide is more secure. So we're just gonna type in Pretend as if uh, both me and my wife, who I'm filing jointly with, has that. We're gonna continue to step two. All right, so if you did not file your income taxes for 2018, then for this, you would put zero, and for your spouse as well, assuming you guys didn't uh, pay your taxes, then you would put zero on both of those. That's where it says, if you didn't file a return last year, enter zero. And if you got a self-selected pin, then this is where you would enter that. So it's either or, so you don't wanna do both. But if you have a pin, you put that. And if you didn't file your taxes, which is probably you, assuming you're using this tool, then you would put zero. All right, so moving on, we're gonna put my birth date. It was actually my birthday a couple days ago. Um, then we're gonna put in a pin. If you have one, if you wanna select, or this is if you wanna make up your own pin. So, and then for jointly, so as we see here, we have you as a taxpayer in one column and then the spouse in the other. Uh, then we're gonna put your license number, what state it is. So once you fill out all this information, then you're gonna click continue to e-file. So it'll have your email address on file there and that's where it'll go. So uh, looks like some information was missing. All right, so then it's gonna bring up a CAPTCHA, and so we just have to do this to make sure that you're not a robot. So we'll type in whatever's there, click Submit. Now, basically this is asking to make sure that all the information that you're putting here is correct and accurate. Obviously, I put everything fake here, but you would just click I agree and then transmit my return. So obviously um, I didn't submit this, but this is the next step that you would do. Let me know if you have comments down below and if you did this process, how it worked out for you uh, and if it helped at all. So uh, if you wanna watch more videos on stimulus check updates, you could subscribe. I'm constantly coming out with new updates or you could click one of these videos over here and I'll see you in the next video.